Come here. Oh, we have another one. What is going on? Did he come off? Nope. Doubles. River rats, you might be wondering why it looks like I slept in my clothes or haven't showered for a couple days. We're not gonna talk about that. What we're gonna talk about is I have awesome bait and I'm hoping for a big fish or at least something to eat. So let's go. Now what I'm wondering is you bring food that you expect to eat for lunch and you're on the water for like eight minutes and you have to start eating it. I think it's a convenience thing. Anyway, I've been river fishing. We're not on a river. There's big dogs in here, but I do need to re-rig. So we're gonna do some dragging, some real slow, holy crap. That is a big fish right there. Probably a big carp, but maybe not, so we should get baits down. Yeah. All right, just because I'm impatient, Actually, I'm usually pretty patient, but I just want baits in the water. So I got these side rods rigged up. I'm gonna drop them straight down and we're swirling and such. So the straight down rods aren't gonna get tangled. Make four nice little chunk baits. Not big baits, but good baits. Just keep seeing so many fish on the sonar. I did, until we uh, got off the ledge, I guess. Either way, it'll be nice having some baits down. Yeah, these guys are just gonna hang right off the side of the boat. Right about there. Hopefully, we'll see it folded in the water. That would be ideal. Well, there is a big old school of probably thread fins. Yeah, those are probably thread fins. Those, that's my baits, actually, right there. I had to make a slight move because the wind was cumbersome from the direction it was heading and I don't have a real drift sock so that makes it tougher. Just making up excuses right now. But um, moral of the story is we moved slightly and coming at them from a different direction. All rods are rigged and baited. I was going to run planer boards but I think it's going to be a mess. So I'm going to stagger distances and wiggle and squiggle and try all kinds of different stuff the classic wiggle and squiggle and sip on my coffee did mark a couple big dogs as soon as i came off plane so we're gonna try to pull baits by them oh, look. Oh. At least we got a nibble. Would have been my eater. Oh, he's back. Take it down this time. Maybe it's a gar. He's just like carrying it. That's bizarre. Is he there? I don't think he's there. That was a pretty sizable chunk of bait though. All right, 30 feet, nothing. We're gonna go try like 40 to 45. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna do something I'm actually kind of excited about whether it works or not. I fish like some real shallow mud. I'm excited enough, I'm only gonna give the deep stuff like half hour, 45 minutes. That's the plan. And then I found $5. If we're here, might as well throw a big bait out, because I got it. How's that for a gizzard? I'm gonna cut them in half. Hopefully it'll get somebody's attention. If it was warmer, I'd think about throwing them out whole. Well, I thought about it. <laughs> I need a bigger hook. Actually, we're probably gonna run two hooks on him. Even cut them in half and he's still big enough to wanna run two hooks on him. I'm gonna run a 10 out in the front and an eight in the back. Do I have any 10s left? Mm. Is there any hidden? Oh, my tins are in the truck. Good place for them. I think, unless there's one buried amongst this 
Guess we're running two eights. What are you? Gonna do the first one like this with uh, about an eight inch tag. All right, so I got my float, got my hook. I'm gonna tie this one on with a uni. Two. It's a much shorter, more compact rig compared to the other ones because I'm gonna switch something up. One through the lips. Yep. And then I'm gonna run this one through the belly. That's how she's gonna lay. Just like that, right there. I think that'll work. It'll fish. I don't know if it'll catch. All right, buddy. Put you on a planer board. And he pops off. Well, at least we found one. Almost feels like, I don't know. The way he hit it, I don't think he was huge and that was a bigger bait. What was that skipjack head? Duh! At least we got a nibble. We got a nibble. Me too. I like them blues better. Hey. Yep, it's blue. It was nice to actually see a bite. You might be good luck. <laughs> the what river bridge? That's where I was going to hit tomorrow. I don't have enough gas to make it there today. I got a jet. I don't have a prop and it burns up gas. Well, good luck to you. Appreciate it. What a nice gentleman. The plane is pretty close. I'll wave. They probably swung by to tell me there's no catfish here. And I'd have to agree with them. We did get dinner, so calling that part a win, but a big fish sure would be nice. So we're gonna try some mud. I'm gonna try some mud. Shallow, mucky mud, poopy mud for poopy blue cats. I just can't bring myself to toss that big bait in the water. So, wherever we go, still got some good juices in it. I'm clear in the back end of this creek arm. I was thinking it was gonna be shallow, like a couple, two, three feet deep, but there's plenty of water in here, like 20 to 30 feet in most spots. And this is by far the shallowest I've seen at nine. That might be some cats. Hmm, do I anchor it or do I drag it? I think we're gonna drag it. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Four feet of water, I feel at home. That's what I've been waiting all day for. Stay on, please. Planer board is gone. I don't think he's especially gigantic, but he sure did fold the rod over nice. So thank you. He ain't bad. He ain't bad at all. All right, where are you at, Ned? Let you hang out there for a second. Okay, come up here, bud. Uh, oh, that almost worked really good. That, that worked pretty good. I just had to get a little closer. 
He's only kind of ours at the moment. There we go, now he is. I'm here to make things look easy. Yes, very fun sized. It's a fine specimen of a blue cat. And uh, yeah, I was snoozing. I say that a lot. I say a lot of things a lot, I guess. So there's that, but uh, appreciate him T-boning it and hitting it hard enough to pop the uh, planer board. That was kind of cool. Alrighty, I'll let you go, bud. See ya. Would like another one, please. Something splashing around behind me. <clears throat> Be nice to put them in the boat. Hasn't been a great day of fishing. Hasn't been a terrible one either. It's been a fun one. Better having fun than I am at catching fish, and I'm okay with that. Still can't get over how hard that fish hit that rod. <laughs> Got a little guy gnawing on it. A little more life. It's nice. Come back, little friend. Swap baits in about mm, 20 minutes. Not a bad one. Wonderful takedown. I guess there aren't any bad ones. Although I could go without them tangling in other lines like this one's going to. <laughs> Still a long ways out there. He's coming up the top. Be sweet if he'd just turn around and take off. You know, he's making some, moving some water up there. Yeah, he's nice, actually. Wow, he is growing. Now he's running right at me. Whew. He's got, he's bigger than that last one, I'll tell you that much. I'm digging this creek arm. Should I reel this one up? Probably. I've marked so many fish in here. Oh, he's long and skinny and big. Sweet. Come here. Oh, yep. He is ours. Sweet. Come here. Oh. We have another one. What is going on? Did he come off? Nope. Doubles. Okay. You fish all day and then this happens. He's uh, excited. I like doubles. I like singles too, but doubles are awesome. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that net, aren't we? Well, we'll get a good look at them first, haven't we? Well, there's a little bit of weight there. Oh, he's nice too. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this in the holder right here. Hopefully he stays on. Get this fish out of the net. Wonderful chaos. Okay, get you. Yeah, he ain't bad. Okay. That's a little bit of chaos right there, too. Chunky ones. Can go from zero to 60 real quick. Um, it's not every day, at least not for me, that I have need two grippers for fish like this. But it is sweet. Ugh. 
this is uh yeah like i said zero to 60 just like that <sighs> yeah pair of pigs um i haven't been able to hit the weights as much as normal so this is a little hard on the old deltoids but uh i'm gonna get these guys back oh man maybe squeak out another one oh Okay, there he goes, one gone. I'm pretty slimy now. <sighs> Another one gone. Cool. Don't take much to make me happy. That definitely made me happy. Breathing, breathing very heavily. Sweet. That was pretty awesome. If I don't get another bite, I'll be over it. Another bite would be cool, but my day is made. Went from a good fishing trip to a great fishing trip. Got my eater, got some big fish, had some flurry of action. Good times. Well, don't tell me he came off. Nope, he didn't come off. Yeah, I literally just turned my camera off. Okay, stay out of the other lines. Well, he's feeling better there. He's a nice one. Pretty whiskers, pretty fins. It's nice of him to join the party. Come here. Oh. He's tuned up. Look at those fins. Dark blue, dark blue whiskers. Pretty fish. I don't care what anybody says about catfish. I think they're beautiful. Helps they're delicious. The old bibbies are definitely going back on. Right over the top of the, all that blue cat slime. <laughs> bibbies on. Didn't have a bite. It's funny, you'll go all day and if you think about it, like, so I've caught five fish. And in the amount of time I've been out here that hasn't, like there's been a lot more time not catching anything than catching anything, but so often be like eating or putting your bibs on and that's when the big dog hits. I don't know any truer statements than that. Or maybe they just stick out more. I don't know. Well, River Rats, I hope you enjoyed that one. I got a boat ride, a truck ride. And then I got to be up at six to meet some buddies to do this all over again. Pretty sweet, but I got to get going. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really do. And if you did hit the like button, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. But either way, thanks for taking time to watch the video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you catch a giant. Mm -hmm.